Hello, my name is Monica Bednarek and I work at the Department of Linguistics at the University of Sydney. This screencast belongs to a series called Key Concepts in Corpus Linguistics and the topic for this screencast is Capturing Data and Text Formats. So, uh, when designing and building a corpus you need to think about where you will get your data from, what format the data will be in and what format you need to be able to analyse the data using a specific corpus linguistics software program. Some common text formats that you will encounter are plain text with the extension TXT, Microsoft Word with the extension DOC, Adobe Documents, better known as PDF and with that extension, and most internet sites will be in HTML, SGML or XML format, which, which are all markup languages. Many corpus linguistic software programs work best with plain text, but often they can also handle markup languages like HTML or XML. So what's a plain text? If you have ever tried saving a Word document as plain text, you will have noticed that a lot of information is lost, so to speak. So a plain text is clean text without any kind of formatting, tables, images, bold font, etc. In contrast, a Word document may contain all sorts of formatting and can only be opened by Microsoft Word or similar type of software. It's not a good idea to use a Word document for any data capturing. If you type data in, type them straight into Notepad if you're working on a PC or text edit in plain text mode if you're working on a Mac. Don't type data into Word. You can try to save an existing Word doc as plain text choosing the Save As option under the File menu. But some conversion issues may arise, so you need to edit the Word doc first and manually check it later. PDF documents are also common. You can convert these to a more suitable format such as plain text using converters that are freely available online or you can copy paste text into notepad or text edit and sometimes you can also try to save as text under the file menu. Again issues may arise when converting, copy pasting and saving as text. So you need to be careful. Finally, HTML and other markup languages are used in websites. So this is a website and this is what the HTML file looks like underneath. As you can see, it includes a lot of markup alongside text. And you can also see that here. So um, if you save an HTML text like that, using the Save as Text option, this is what it looks like. So um, this preserves mainly the text but also some formatting and still includes a lot of links in this case which can mess with the software. So again you may want to do some manual post editing. So in sum, how to handle different formats. If you can, download the text as plain text. Keep the HTML if you want to compile a corpus with formatting included and if your software can handle it. If your text is PDF or Word, try to convert or copy paste or save as text. However, unless you type directly into Notepad or text edit into the plain text format, you do need to check the formatting for any issues when converting, copy pasting and so on. That's it. Thank you for listening.